with more than just goodness. 38 The Spot. <laughs> now, from Sports Radio 810 WHB, it's the Border Patrol on 38 The Spot. On Sports Radio 810 WHB, Walker Medical Linen Services, delivering premium products, seamless service, and guaranteed cost savings to the medical industry. And Coventry Healthcare, your great local health insurance plan, proudly present The Border Patrol with Stephen St. John and Nate Buchanan. Welcome back to the show. This is the Border Patrol on Sports Radio 810 WHB. It's Tuesday morning, November 26, 2013. Stephen St. John with out Nate Bucati, who is on hiatus. We have in his place Mr. Todd Lebo making his 38th spot television debut. The studio audience very excited to see Todd Lebo here with us for the first time on 38th The Spot uh, for our simulcast. So thank you very much for uh, coming in here to fill in for Nate and Katie. It's trying weird to, to have the, no crazy mustache over here. The big shoes. Monster shoes. So weird. Do my best. No mustache and someone paying attention to me. It's great. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? Thank you. <laughs> uh, where's, is Nate actually gone? You think Nate's listening? He's leaving early this morning. Hello, Nate! He's leaving early, early, early. He, he's uh, maybe he's listening. Hopefully, he's on an airplane with an app working. When you're off, when you're on vacation, or when you're away from work, do you listen, or do you stay away? I listen some. Yeah, I, I normally try to listen to make sure we're still on the air. Right. I have different concerns, <laughs> not necessarily content. I always want to. Okay, is someone in there? Is it working? Because you, because you know that things fall apart when you're not around. No, this, sometimes they do. I know that. No, you I. Know. I can promise you that they do. <laughs> I like when you get called. Always like to make sure there's something being broadcast on the frequency. It's, well, that's good. It's the biggest biggest part for me. That's uh, that's that's a good job by you. This that's hour step one of the show brought to you by Gales Harley Davidson Service. Your Harley Davidson, the Kansas City's number one most desired service department. Gales Harley Davidson, Kansas City's undisputed leader in service. Go to feelthepower.com. Gales Harley Davidson, where every day is an excuse to have fun. Coming up, we'll talk to Dennis Dodd from CBSSports.com about some college football. We've got Gabe DeArm and Mike DeCourcy and Jeff Chidea all on the show today. We'll start you off with some Kansas City Chiefs. Andy Reid spoke to the media yesterday and gave injury updates on Tamba Ali and Justin Houston. We'll just see how he, how he does. He made, he made big improvements from, from yesterday, but we got to see just how he, how he does. He, he was on crutches after the game, and then today he was able to walk in the pool. He came in with one crutch, so we're halfway there. And uh, it was. Yeah, the MRI, I'd tell you, was a positive. Yeah, what we saw in the MRI. I wasn't surprised. I mean, it swelled up. I, you could see it after... Um, after the game, they tried to keep the swelling down, um, uh, but you could see that it was puffing up a little bit after the game when we were in the locker room there, and um, and then overnight it even swelled up more. First, you heard Andy Reid talking about Tom Bahali, uh, who was on uh, crutches and in a boot after the game on Sunday. Then he was able to walk in the pool and down to one crutch yesterday, and so it sounds at least possible that he could be ready to play against the Denver Broncos. Justin Houston, however, too much swelling in the elbow for him to be able to uh, have the MRI done, so that still has to happen. And so I guess just uh, your, your fingers are crossed hoping that Tom Bahali can play, whether he's 100% or not, uh, that's probably not going to happen. But having him out there at 80%, or whatever the number might be is better than than what they had at the end of that game of of zero pressures. But Justin Houston, that does not sound good, Todd. It doesn't sound good for him, and it was it was kind of a weird injury. You had to kind of see the replay a few times to see exactly where he was hurt. And you know, I'm I'm sure there's some braces and things they can do to, but you can't go out there and get the kind of pressure and force when you're a pass rusher without using your arm, and it, right. it's probably going to be a while for him. It didn't sound good. You could kind of read through Andy Reid's you know, tone on him, and he sounded a little more concerned about that. I think Holly will be all right. He's going to get better as the week goes on. Tape it up, do your deal, but he's, he just can't be 
No one's 100%. They right. always say that this time of year. Nobody's at full strength. Peyton Manning's not 100%. No, he's not. But Peyton Manning doesn't have to rush someone. He just stands back there in the shotgun and throws right. the ball. Tom Bahal, he'd probably be fine to play quarterback. Now he can't throw, but you know what I mean? It, it, there's different things required. And he gets so much. When he comes around the edge, he gets so low. I, I think that's going to be it. really take away part of his game with an ankle injury. It's I not asked, a high ankle. Right. No, you know. they, that would be... You don't want a high ankle yeah. spray. Low is much better. I, I, I asked this of uh, of Nate and Jake yesterday, and uh, both gave different responses. If, if They you, didn't agree? If you could pick what? one to be on the field, you only could pick one, would you rather have Tom Bahali or Justin Houston available? What did Nate say? Did Nate say Justin Houston? We both said Houston. Oh, you said both. We agreed, actually. Houston. Okay. So who, said, said, who said Hali then? You. Aaron and you. And Kedison. Eddie I Kenson say I want too. Eddie Kenson. I, I want Houston. I'm with Jake. And well, Nate. I didn't. I, I never. I never decided. I went back and forth. I said, <laughs> "Well, that's how normal." You right. know, now that you said, I think I'm Holly. And I think. No, I, and I think I finally uh, decided on Houston because remember, I, I uh, he was yeah, better against the run. The run. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you deflected it, and you said, uh, "Then I decided better against the run, so yes. I would take uh, Houston." So we won three to two. Right, and, and so uh, four two now with Leo. Yeah, yeah it's all in. <laughs> and so, but, and what do we get for our troubles? Uh, Holly will play. Maybe a weekend Holly. But, but you I'll, hope he'll I'll play. Take one of, yeah, you're hoping he play because yesterday it felt like neither one of them was going to play against Denver. Now you're hoping at least Tom Bahali will be out there. Uh, the stat you gave earlier, you know, in the in the 19 plays they were in there before yeah. Holly and Houston were able right. to get four pressures, and the 50 plus plays later. They were able to get one pressure. That, that's like, uh, yeah, Zombo and uh, according to Moses. Pro, pro Football Focus, uh, possible pass rushes, the nineteen pass rushes by Hali in Houston generated four what they call quarterback pressures. Fifty five rushes by Desmond Moses and uh, Frank Zombo resulted in one pressure. One. And so that was uh, clearly run an the issue. percentages on that. It's not as good. I don't think you need to. No. Let's move on to a more Andy Reid. He talked about Denver and Kansas City both coming off heartbreaking losses, so both should be uh, very motivated on Sunday at Arrowhead. Well, uh, you'll have two of them that are playing each other that came off a heart wrencher. So um, we'll, we'll, we're going to get we're going to get this. Uh, we're meeting with players today, so we'll, we'll get this one knocked out. And we'll, uh, you know, the thing I, I want to reiterate to you: we, we got to continue to learn and get better. That's what we have to do, and so. We'll learn from our mistakes and then get ready to play a, a good football team. And it should be a great atmosphere for, for a football game. You got two teams that are nine and two, um, you know, in the same division. I mean, it's it, that's what it's all about. When it's all said, no, we just got to get we got to get through today and, and get this son of a gun knocked out, and learn from it, and get better here. Get this son of a gun knocked out. Get her knocked out. All right, let's hear one more clip. Uh, Andy Reid talking about uh, the timeout that he took late in the game with uh, the clock running and first and goal from the five. Instead of uh, getting as much time off the clock as he possibly could, Andy Reid called a timeout, and he addresses that uh, again yesterday. Well, listen, I, I mentioned I was just there with 10, 10 minutes left, you know, in the fourth quarter, and I wanted a touchdown there. I mean, obviously. I mean, every point was a crucial point. Then we, we got snuffed on that next series, and all of a sudden we're down there. And uh, we had had a couple big plays, and and uh, I can't tell you the tanks were full in the fourth quarter. I mean, guys are tired. And so, and it's a it's a crazy time of the game, about minute 28 on the clock. And so I wanted every second that I could have to make sure I had three downs, right? We're talking about first down. I want, And I had the three timeouts. I wanted every second I needed to get yourself in that end zone and get a touchdown. I didn't want a field goal. That's not what I was shooting for. And so I want to make sure we gathered up, gave my guys a blow, get the best plays called, settle the situation. Let's go score a touchdown and win the game, right? Now we happen to do it on the first play. So, And then I, I told you this at the beginning of this. I got the ultimate trust in my defense. I mean, I, that's how I feel. So you tell me, uh, you know, that my defense is going to hold them down with with a minute and whatever on the clock. Shoot, I'm betting on my defense. You know, I just I felt like I think our whole team felt. You saw there was nobody sitting on the bench. Everybody was up on the sideline going, and we just knew something good was going to happen. 
And I mentioned this, game, it's game inch, and we were that close to having an interception right there. Dog got it, third and ten, and we were right there. And uh, it didn't happen. So what I do, I, I thought that was the right thing to do. You don't need all those seconds. No. You just don't need all those seconds. You needed every second to score a touchdown. You, you didn't. You're at the five. You got the, plenty the, of time. The clock was not going to be an issue. It, if, it is professional football. The clock was not going to be an issue. I know it runs if you've run the ball or whatever. You can run fast enough to run plays in that time without, without spiking the ball. If, if you've done your practice, if you've practiced these situations, mm-hmm. which is what they do, Got all the time in the world to practice these things. I don't like that answer. And real quick, uh, last night uh, on Monday Night Football, the uh, Washington Redskins, a future opponent for the Chiefs, get hammered by the 49ers 27-6. to And in college basketball, the Missouri Tigers, uh, they, uh, they get a win at home in the uh, final game for interim head coach Tim Fuller as the interim head coach Frank Aith will be returning. Uh, Tim Fuller goes back to being assistant. May not be uh, the story of the game, however. Though, Missouri right? beats IUPUI 78-64, to and the uh, the Antlers are, uh, are thrown out of the game again. We'll talk more about that later. Also in the uh, CBE Classic, Wichita State beats DePaul 90-72, to and BYU beats Texas 86 to 82 and then uh, last night UMKC at Iowa State they lose uh, 110 to 51 to the 17th ranked Cyclones back after this on WHP and 38 the spot you're listening to the Border Patrol on Sports Radio 810 WHB Next Family Guy, Ryan and Stewie are living large in Vegas. Hi, we're checking in. I see you've requested a bed that's good for bouncing and jumping. That is correct. I am a businessman. Until they go for broke. Lost it all, Brian. What? I just wish we didn't have to borrow money from a loan shark. I mean, that guy seemed pretty serious. Please indicate here if I look like a schmuck to you. I'm going to say no. And finally, my date of birth. Was it yesterday? Next Family Guy, your discretion advised. Watch tonight at 6 on 38th The Spot for comedy. Hello, I'm cold, but Omni Heat's not. That's because little silver dots reflect heat back to you to make it warmer than an ordinary lining. And it breathes so you don't overheat. No matter how cold it gets outside, it's always warm inside Omni Heat. I'm done. I'm done. Omni Heat Reflective, shockingly warm, amazingly breathable. Okay, everybody, up and at them. The early bird gets the deal. I want to be at that store by 0450. Helen? Hey, Coach. The best deal isn't at a store. You don't have to brave the crowds to be a true champion. I don't. Switch to Time Warner Cable and get a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Wow. Great coffee, by the way. Thanks. Oh, back to bed, everybody. Get a triple play starting at $79.99 a month. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC to upgrade and get a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Your Hyundai dealer can't fit all their amazing deals into one short day. So it's Black Friday every day. All this month, get zero to at least signing on any of 14 Hyundai models. Financing as low as 0%. Incredible savings. And America's best warranty. Now get an EPA estimated 38 MPG Highway Elantra for 0% APR for 72 months. Hurry, Black Friday every day goes dark for good December 2nd. Do you have an idea for an invention or a new product? InventHelp can help you try to patent your idea and submit it to companies. InventHelp is America's largest invention company with sales offices in over 50 cities nationwide. Call today for free information. Right this minute, videos first. See this daredevil literally put his life on the line. Yeah, I would imagine that spike of adrenaline really part of the fun. Next, right this minute. Watch tonight at 7 on 38 The Spot. Look who's delivering the laughs on 38 The Spot. I'm going to keep it loose and fun. (laughs) He's got the moves. He's got the style. Look at this, honey. I swept myself a bra. And he's definitely got the charm. Let's get it on. The King of Queens delivers the laughs. Watch weekdays at 5 and 5.30 on 38 The Spot for comedy. 
Hapu welcomes you to Quickie Mart. I suspect you are buying for underage bullies. But as that is 98% of my business, I say thank you, sir. Come again. Home with a squishy. Whoa, that's good squishy. Quickie Mart, where there's low, low prices guaranteed. Ooh, expired ham. Oh, this time I've gone too far. No, no one will fall for... <laughs> Cheap meat! The Simpsons. Watch weeknights at 6.30 on 38 The Spot for comedy. 38 The Spot has just become more intense, more outrageous, more loud. Now, Kansas City's most dynamic team plays here. 2014 home for Sporting Kansas City is 38th Spot. This is fun. This is really fun. You're competing for a championship. This is this is this is why you do it. It's the fourth time it's happened to us in the last seven years, and it's a, it's it's neat to be a part of it. Uh, and so I, uh, you know, from a competitive standpoint, I mean, goals and, and everything, and that's what you do this for. And uh, well, but yet, you know, the reason I, I I talk about clutter and all those things is that you know you, it's still about playing well. I mean, you can sit there and. Flip it, spin it, turn it all you want. You got to get back to how you, how are you going to play your best football game? Welcome back to the show. This is the Border Patrol on Sports Radio 810 WHB and 38 The Spot. Please now check in with uh, Jake Gutierrez, the producer cam, a very nice Sports Radio 810 WHB ball cap, and a neatly trimmed mustache. Jake Gutierrez, say hello to Kansas City. Good morning. Good morning, viewers and listeners out there. Have you decided to keep the mustache after the month of November is over? I think I will. I think I'll go into Christmas with it, maybe. That would be a gift for everybody. Yeah, wouldn't it? Good yeah. good decision, right? Yes, for sure. Dennis Dodd, do you enjoy Jake's mustache? It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. <laughs> That's right. He could, he could shave on the 23rd and he'd have a mustache on Christmas. He'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> totally oh, worked that way. Boy. Uh, there you heard Gary Pinkle talking about this season, how much fun it is, and a chance to play for a championship. That's what Missouri will do on Saturday night against Texas A&M, a chance to win the SEC East outright with a win over Johnny Football and Texas A&M. And, and I want to bring up, uh, a play from the win against Ole Miss before we talk about that game. Missouri wins 24-10, to 10, but there was a spot where uh, you, you, you felt Gary Pinkle having fun, and you saw the way he's coaching, very bold and very daring, and I'm talking about the, uh, the fake punt deep in his own territory. Harold Brantley, a 290-pound defensive tackle, uh, able to uh, pick up the first down. Now, ultimately, an interception was thrown by James Franklin, and so they didn't get points out of it. But I really thought it was, uh, I mean, it was a statement that, you know what, we're not, not going to play afraid. We're not going to play not to lose. We're here in, uh, you know, at Ole Miss. We're here to win this game, to try to win this game. And that's the way, really, he's coached all season long, save for the, the fourth South quarter Carolina against here. South Carolina. Yeah. Didn't have his guys, though, really. But maybe yeah. he learned from that. I, I, I thought that was a great, that was great symbolism of, of how Gary Pinkle's coached this year. I agree. I think he's, I, I was just thinking about this, he's going to break, tie or break Don Farrow's record. I think break it for yeah. school wins. And be the, he'll, he'll be the all-time winningest coach at two schools. Yeah. In his, in his in, right, in Toledo and in, in Missouri, and That's a short list of guys who who have done that at two Division One schools. In his name, I didn't even think about it, but I started to think when I saw his name pop up on Coach of the Year list too. Has to be, has to be considered. No doubt. It, it, listen, they they've done a great job. They really have, and you know, especially after last year, it was just a rough year going through. And you know, it, people were down after the South Carolina game, and. Everyone was down two weeks ago when nothing fell right for Mizzou like it never does. You know, balls get tipped, guys catch ball, you know, all this kind of stuff. It didn't happen, but that's all laying right there now. It, they, it they've, got, they've got a home game late in the year against, you know, an opponent they know. This isn't some mystery opponent. This is a team they've played, 
you know, 16 years in a row or something because they played him in the Big 12. And they played him last year as well. They, they know these guys. It's, it's all they're, right there for them. They're going to win. Uh I said this weeks ago, if, if they got past, I thought Ole Miss was their toughest game in this stretch. I agree. Because it was on the road in the SEC, trap game, um, you know, whatever you want to call it. If they got past that, what no one's talking about, this has to be a revenge game. Does anybody remember last year's game? Awful. Absolutely. At college, do you think that's been brought up a few times in Columbia? I would in think. The, in the meetings this week? I mean, you—that's—that's that's a question your manhood game. The and way it, they got run out there. It was an embarrassing effort by Missouri. That's as what I'm well. talking yeah. about. I mean, and A and M certainly didn't take the. And no, nor should they take their foot off the gas. But no, there, there were questions about whether or not. Uh, there were questions about whether or not Gary Pinkle had lost that program, had lost that yeah. team after that game. It yeah. was the, it was a, a horrible end to a horrible year, and it was like they had kind of checked out. And that was right when I mean Johnny Football was at his at his height. I mean that was like. I'm going to go win the Heisman Trophy. And watch this. I'm going to do this all around my field down here. And I, I rule the world. And things have changed for him. I think, they're, so, I think they're that team this year. I know they won eight games. But they're that team that Missouri was last year. Are they ready to check out? Johnny's not going to win the Heisman. I don't think he's going to win the Heisman. Not now. He might have had a chance had he been better last week. That was right, bad exactly. last week. No, yeah. I, I thought if, he'd, if they'd won and he put up big numbers, then with Winston's legal questions, he'd move right in there. I don't think he's going to win it now. You know, they're not going to play in a BCS Bowl. What's ahead? You know, he's going to go sign autographs as soon as the game's over for profit. Um, you know, but what about the bowl? Their defense is terrible on the road. I, I think Manziel's beaten up physically. I, I saw that game, some of that game last week. I just think he's, I, you know, I, I think he's been hit a lot. Yeah. And I think he's he's just beaten up at the end hey, of the Hey, listen, season. he's had a fine year. Uh, he's had a great year. Following up what he did last year. But this... You know, Missouri, it's all right there. It's all right, right there for me. No Their defense is much better this year. And I think they would love, now the, the coaching staff won't say things like this, but they would love nothing more than to really give it to Johnny Manziel. Oh, if, if everything breaks down in this game, everything for Missouri breaks down, they're still going to win in a shootout. You know, they've got whatever it is, the 38th, number 38 defense, which is really good. Texas A&M's 104th, I think, 108th. If it somehow degenerates into the shootout, Missouri's got a better offense. I'm sorry. They're deep at tailback. They have a better set of receivers, despite Mike Evans and crew. Uh, I thought uh, they played a, Missouri played a perfect game at Ole Miss, kind of get, getting James Franklin back into the mix. We know he can throw. We know he can run. If everything goes bad for Missouri, they win this game 45-42. I suspect it'll be much bigger than that. And they're by far the best in the SEC creating turnovers, plus 14 or plus 15 uh, turnover uh, margin, which is fantastic. And, and, and getting back to, to that call, because hardly anyone talked about it because it didn't lead to points because James Franklin threw the interception. But again, I just thought the statement, people forget it was it was 17-10 to 10 because Ole Miss... He just scored a touchdown, drove right down the field to start the third quarter. Missouri gets the ball back, and the momentum clearly on Ole Miss's side. Uh, you've got a situation where it's fourth and two. And, Jake, you appreciate football and coaches' decisions and how things could blow up and go the wrong way. It's 17-10. to 10. Ole Miss has just scored a touchdown. The crowd's going crazy. Early in the third quarter, you're on the road. Fourth and two from your own 20. And he calls a fake punt where you direct snapped it direct snap it to a 290-pound defensive tackle. And he runs 26 yards for the first down. Now, it ended in uh, in an interception, but still, that statement, don't you think? Because the game was in doubt right there. Mm -hmm. doesn't, doesn't that tell the player? Playing to win. We're here to Playing win. Playing to win. Right? Playing to win. If if we, if we don't make it, we still have a, a really good defense that can stop. Great red zone defense. How about that for the whole year? Unbelievable. That's what's going to help them against... If they beat A and M in this in the in the SEC championship game, that that red zone defense that will help them. It's it's wonderful coaching as well that you've studied so much that you know that I don't care where this happens on the field, we can make this play happen. Just two weeks off. That's yeah. that bye week. And that's you know? that's doing the studying and and having it work right. I mean, and, and, you know, it, they that's saw what it's something, done. and it worked. It worked. And, and and you know, he he said something I thought that was key as well. The fourth time in seven years they've won ten games. And, boy, this, there are a lot of similarities between this season and what happened in 2007. But I said this off the air uh, the other day to Jake and Aaron. I think I kind of surprised them. I, I think this team is better than the 2017, the Chase Daniel, J Jeremy Ooh. Macklin team. I think, it, it's a more complete team. Yeah. It absolutely is. I think this team yeah. is better. I, 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 think, I think you're right. 
And and we're talking about uh, James Franklin missing a bunch of games, too, and Matty Mock filling in perfectly. You had a arguably All-America quarterback in 2007 with Chase Daniel. This is a more complete team. You're right. Did you like the idea beforehand, uh, Gary Pinkle saying that Matty Mock was going to play, was going to get a series? He got a series. It worked out well because it resulted in points, and he, he made a fantastic throw. Mm-hmm. Uh, across his body, going out of bounds. It should have been a touchdown, but LaDamian Washington got hit and, and dropped the ball. But did you like that idea? It worked out well. And should they do it again, giving Matty Malk a series or two? I, I, I was confused at the time. I was too. When, when, when they did it, uh, it worked out. I mean, traditionally, this is what he's done, mm-hmm. but not in this context. Uh, Brad Smith, Chase Daniel won the Iowa State mm-hmm. game. Brad Smith, you know, you know, Chase Daniel kind of kicked off his career then. He's done it with other quarterbacks. Played Blaine this, Gabbard early. Blaine Gabbard. But this isn't that context. You've got a championship on the line and your best guy coming back. So, it hey, it, it was his, uh, you know, he wanted to do that. He saw something there that Matty Mock, a 500 passer in these games, let's not forget, that was going to work out. And there's no guarantee Matty Mock's going to be the starter next year. So it isn't like, let's get Matty Mock some more snaps for right. next year. We know that situation. And he was 3-7, but, but for 83 yards. Yeah. He threw the ball down. It worked. Field. It did work, uh, and we'll see if it happens again on Saturday night. So, again, your prediction, score. Oh, I, I think Missouri win, wins by double digits. I, I, I thought they'd beat Ole Miss by double digits, and they did. They covered on that. Uh, I, th- I think A&M's ready to quit. Not quit. They're just ready to get it over with. There's not much at stake for them. I, but everything I've said, revenge for Missouri, SEC East on the line. Um, I don't think Manziel's the same as he was. He's great, but he's not you know, as good as he was. Or even earlier this year, even though his numbers overall have been better than 2012. So I like Missouri big. Todd Lebo, do you concur? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to be big or not, but I think Missouri will win the game. I think it's going to be a wonderful scene. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I'm going to be there in, in the stands. If if people run on the field, I will run on the field. I'll grab will the goalpost for you. Steve. you wear I wore, Missouri I gear? Wear black clothes. I don't know if I'll have a tiger <laughs> on. ask you that. That's the way I roll. I don't put, the, you, I don't put the logos on. Will you keep a, uh, a happy home for Mama and wear a, what if she says, Todd, wear this Missouri shirt, wear this Missouri hat. What will you tell? I'll, uh, you know, that's Mr. a game Lito. day decision, buddy. Actually, my warmest coat is blue. It's a hand-me-down for my brother, and I may need that. I'll check the temperature. Would you like something neutral. of mine yeah. to wear? I won't, I won't wear neutral. I'm definitely rooting for Missouri. What if I no bring guy. you something to wear? I've got a wonderful black. Uh, I, I, will, I, will, I will look like a Tiger fan. How about a Missouri sweatshirt from me for you to wear? So is it a good luck win or not? Oh, yeah. Is it, has it been yeah, a winner? It's a good one. It's been a winner? It's a good one. Okay. Okay. I'll, Todd do, that. Lebo, I'll do that for you. Todd Lebo will wear uh, one of my Missouri sweatshirts. At the game there you go. on Saturday. Dennis Dodd remains in studio. Dennis Dodd from CBSSports.com. More after this on WHB and 38 The Spot. You're listening to the Border Patrol on Sports Radio 810 WHB. Are you ready? It's time for today's Jocelyn's Trivia Blitz on 38 The Spot. What was unique about Memorial Stadium when it was built in 1921? Jocelyn Jewelry, the jewelry you'll recommend to your friends and family. 435 in Antioch. Go north one mile. You can't miss us. 95th in Antioch. Think you figured it out? I'll be right back with the answer. See for yourself why Kia is getting all the attention this season at the Kia Holiday Sales Event. Check out our best-selling 2014 Optima, named a top safety pick plus. The versatile Sorento crossover with a five-star crash safety rating. Or the totally transformed Soul, which is this year's highest-ranked compact multi-purpose vehicle and initial quality by J.D. Power. So hurry in to the Kia Holiday Sales Event today. Get 0% APR or up to $3,000 customer bonus for qualified buyers on the Sorento. To get all the travel info you need, call the newly improved 511. This free service provides up-to-date road conditions, construction, and weather for all Kansas highways. Plus traffic info for Kansas City, Kansas, and Missouri, rest area information, and help selecting route segments. Or be transferred to local transit authorities, tourism, and even motorist assist. And subscribe to personalized info via email or text alerts. 511, a single call to get it all. This message brought to you by this station and the Kansas Department of Transportation. Storm Shield versus Weather Radio. Both keep you safe, but only one has radar, school closings, and live video screen from Kansas City's Weather Leader. Plus, there's this. 
41 Action Weather Storm Shield for iPhone and Android. Download at KSHB.com slash mobile. The day is never long enough, and there's too much to do. House calls, gotta look good. Hey, wait, slow down. Watch Cozy TV. It's the easiest decision you'll make all day. I'm always on the lookout for a good deal. Like this. And this. And this. And these. And this. So when I found out about America's Best, I got really excited. You can get two pairs of glasses for $69.95 with a free eye exam. Designer frames and low prices? Now that's a good deal. Call 1-800-2-PAIR or visit americasbest.com to schedule an appointment today. All the drama. Passing Creed? Like a C? Why don't I just get pregnant at a bus station? All the passion. What about babies? What about them? How many? Like it's up to me. All the action. Look, Tiny Ryan here. To fight ourselves. Jeff is in grave danger. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take for things to get back to normal. Let's burn this mother down! There are people who say, I don't get it. To which I say, you weren't there. Experience the entertainment event of the year. Who wants to dance? Watch weeknights at 9 and 9.30 on 38 The Spot. Your time's up. Here's the answer to today's Jocelyn's Trivia Blitz. What was unique about Memorial Stadium when it was built in 1921? It was the first football stadium built on a college campus west of the Mississippi River. Jocelyn's Jewelry, the jewelry you'll recommend to your friends and family. 435 in Antioch. Go north one mile. You can't miss us. 95th in Antioch. Catch another Jocelyn's Trivia Blitz every weekday morning on 38 The Spot. Good morning, Kansas City. I'm Aaron Schwartz with your bottom of the hour update. ESPN's Adam Schefter tweeted out this morning that league sources have confirmed that Chiefs linebacker Justin Houston does, in fact, have a dislocated elbow and is unlikely to play against Denver on Sunday. Andy Reid in his press conference yesterday said the swelling was delaying an MRI to be done on the injury. Reid also said that Tom Bahali was improving and is hopeful he can play on Sunday after spraining his ankle against the Chargers. In basketball action last night, UMKC blown out on the road at Iowa State, 110 to 51. Mizzou winner, 78 to 64 over IUPUI. Jabari Brown with 24 points. Jordan Clarkson with 22 in the win. And the CBE Hall of Fame Classic last night, Wichita State and BYU both winners will face each other tonight after the first game of the night between Texas and DePaul at 6:30. How about this, Lebo? The Bald Patrol will be back. There's four bald guys in here right now. Yay! Playing Kansas State. I mean, how 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 tough is it to get up the, when you're playing against your state rival? I mean, it's a very easy, very easy answer to that question. Saturday night after the game, they they I ripped into them as bad as you could be ripped into. Sunday we moved on to Kansas State. Somebody could. Uh... Jump in the studio and yell, hey, Baldy! We'd all turn around. <laughs> what? How you doing? What? How you doing? Well, yeah. you heard uh, Charlie Weiss there talking about the Sunflower Showdown. Did you decide you're not going to that one? Do you have that clip? No, Nick? I'm not. Why? I, cu I cut that out, I think, in August. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> several years ago. Maybe. Well, unfortunately, I, I've been to many of the... Many of those. Those are, you know what? Those are great games. I'm sorry. All they, right, they are. Sunflower Showdown. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in, the, in their own little world, they are. They are. They've been great. All teams. rivalry games are fun like that. Exactly. They, they did. They just are. You know, it doesn't have to be a big national thing. No. There's if, if it's really important to to some people and the well, folks that are involved, it's cool. It's it's fun for those involved if it's competitive. Right. Well, will this be competitive? Kansas State coming off a 41-31 loss to uh, Oklahoma, but clearly they're the better team. And you thought maybe Kansas had generated some momentum with that win they tricked me. over West Virginia. But they go up to <laughs> Iowa State and get 
blank, 34 to nothing, and you hear Charlie Wise talking about ripping into his team after the game. What happened there, and what do you expect? Can this game be competitive? I don't think it is because I think Kansas State's gotten gotten it together offensively. I think everybody'd agree with that. Um, once Oklahoma kind of figured out Tyler Lockett last Saturday, they rolled. But Kansas State's gotten better and better, better and better through the the weeks offensively. And Kansas, I've got I've got a numbing stat here, a series of numbing stats. Oh. There are seven teams in FBS that are ranked 100 or, or worse in total offense and total defense. Kansas is one of them. Uh, the others are Purdue, UTEP, Georgia State, Miami of Ohio, and Eastern Michigan, and Iowa State, who they just went 34 to nothing on. Yeah, Iowa State's defense has given up this year, 48 the week before, mm -hmm. and 21 to TCU, which is hard to do. TCU is not very not good. good. They, they give up 71 to Baylor. They give up 58 to Oklahoma State, 41 to K-State. This was not some defense that was kind of feeling their oats and everything. And to shut out, it, shut out in college football today, Alabama does that. Iowa State doesn't do that. And that, that was as disappointing as anything because I thought, I thought Kansas had – you know, I don't think West Virginia is very good at all. And, no. you know, Kansas had a defensive touchdown, all that, but they scored 30 points. I thought, you know, you go up there and the weather was not good. They clearly didn't care for the weather. I mean, but the Iowa State was playing it too. Iowa State's quarterback's a kid from Southern California. He had a wonderful night. 500 plus yards to Rohawk. Yeah. Rat Rohawk. I mean, he had a super night. Just, you know. 300 yards in the air, 200 yards in the ground for Iowa State. Unbelievable night for him. And, you know, Iowa State's offense had not been rolling up big numbers either. And I, I, I kind of thought all along this year there was some talk of Kansas had a decent defense, and I thought it was just basically driven by who they played early. The, the team is not very good, and They're I not. don't think they look much better. And every time you ask a coach in a conference call, they, oh yeah, they look better than last year. I don't, I don't think they look appreciably different than last year. No, they don't. And their their offensive output matched the wind chill Saturday. Um, None, zero, nuns. And I, that's why you know that's why this is why it's most stunning because. And we, I, I hate to beat this to death, but Charlie Weiss is an offensive coach, and this has not been a good offensive team. I mean, I think we all understand what he inherited defensively. They were playing offensive linemen on the defensive line. Um, but it just hit with, uh, you know, a quarterback who had, I think Jay Keeps had only, the only Big 12 quarterback who had more starts uh, was David Ash. Text coming into the season had yeah. more oh, career yeah, was, starts, was, and Jake Heaps has been. I'm sorry, a disappointment. Yes. I think we all agree with that. Is, is, is it okay? So that, that that's two big time transfers that have been mm -hmm. disappointing. Flops. Is it that Charlie Weiss was wrong about the quarterback, or is there just not enough talent to make the quarterback look good, and he can't be successful because of the offensive line, the lack of receivers? They got good running backs. But is there just not enough talent for any quarterback to succeed? It, it defies description because Charlie Weiss is a quarterback maker. He is. I mean, you can make all the jokes you want, but look what he did with the Chiefs for a year. Um, with Matt Castle, That's he'll never do that again. I'm talking about Matt but is Castle. Is the rep just that one year, though? Because, I mean, he didn't make Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady made Charlie Weiss. Yeah. And I, Bill Belichick. I, I agree. I, I agree with the concentric zone theory of the closer you get to Tom Brady or the further you get away from Tom Brady, the, the worse, worse you are. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, That's there's right. something to be said for that. But in um, Notre Dame, you know, he had a guy, a Heisman finalist. So, you know, it, 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 it's... Defies description. Well, and his one year at Florida, that was one of the worst years of yes, Florida offensive history until now. <laughs> it's worse. Worse. <laughs> They've gotten worse. Yeah, they, but they it's gone. Now. Here's my fear as someone who, you know, is looking at this as a, as a media member here close to Kansas. What's the best part of this team? Stephen just said running backs. Right. James Simmons, these guys. Really good. Those aren't yeah. his players. Right. He, he didn't recruit those players. Yeah, that's right. You know, you know, Tony Pearson is a, is a guy who, and I, I, I applaud Charlie Weiss for the way he's handled that with his concussion because I, I, I do think that he's not doing that for, you know, self-righteous reasons. I think he cares about these guys. I, I, I mean, I truly too. believe that, and I like that. But he, you know, that's not his guy. You know, these, these are guys recruited by other people. I'm still waiting for some guys that he has recruited to be difference makers for this team. And I know it's only been two years, but... Did, you kidding me? You sit there and look around at these kids who are playing now as, as freshmen. And there's, he said this last year. He, the team that was out there before was a pile of crap. You want to come play? Come play here. I mean, the sales pitch is there. We've got spots for you to play, and they haven't been able to find difference makers yet to get that done. And that that's scary if, if you're a Kansas supporter that 
wow, we're this we're this bad, and he didn't have guys playing. The best parts of this team aren't his guys. Yeah, uh, Glenn Mason and you know Mark Mangino and others proved that Kansas should never be this bad. They they shouldn't. They you know not this bad. It's no. a basketball school, but they can be good. They can be a consistent bowl team. And I think we'll see. Uh, he's going to get a third year. I think we all know that. Well, the bar right now is just don't be embarrassing. Don't be maybe. embarrassing. Let's see how Montel Cozart uh, improves next year. Took a step you know, back Saturday. He, he sure did. It's a tough spot to play in road, cold. You know. But but what are their options? I mean, uh, that, I'm sure that's what they're thinking. I mean, we're not getting it done with Jay Keeps. So we might as well throw this guy in and get him some reps so he can have a whole off season, spring, and everything else to, to come back and be better next year. I think there's some upside there, but. It's a long way to go. Well, the scary part for for me as well for Kansas is the Big Big Twelve's just not that great. I mean, no, it's not. It's the Big Twelve's just it, this is just kind of a a, a year. You know, I think there's I think there is some quality here. There's not a, a bunch of greatness, greatness, but TCU is is horrible on offense. Defense is okay. West Virginia is is bad. Iowa State is bad. K State has been a, a top ten team the last two years. They've got five losses. I mean, there's availability out there to win games. They just lost their championship contender, Baylor. Yeah. The most quizzical result is Kansas beat the team that is the only L on Oklahoma State's. That's that loss. Oklahoma State's loss to West Virginia defies belief because if they win, if they win that game, they're right, right in there. they're right in there for for a championship. Would you, you question you. the preparation, the effort of West Virginia in that game against Kansas? What 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 what, no, what I, were they doing? I mean, I, what, yeah, I just what, think, what the hell were they doing that week? Right, I know. Yeah, you know? I think they're. I just think they're a bad team. I think Dana Holgerson's a short timer. I, I, that's what I question. I mean, good, good for Kansas, but I just think the team that beat the team that's going to win the Big Twelve, mm-hmm. Oklahoma State's going to beat Oklahoma. I think. Well, and here's Boston. the deal. I'll promise you, you go back and, and ask Mike Gundy with mm-hmm. some truth here. Like, I probably should have been playing Clint, Clint Shelf. Yeah, they didn't have the quarterback thing figured out then. Now, he, now they do. Clint Who, Shelf. Who's had the quarterback figured out this year in the Big Twelve? Nobody. And we knew that going in. Again, David Ash was whatever he had. He was the most career starts, and now he may never play again because of concussion. And for yeah. K State, Tyler Lockett coming off the twelve catch, two hundred and seventy eight yard performance. He's just been great. This Jake year. Waters, three hundred and forty-eight yards. Uh, g- good luck trying to stop that if you yeah. can't. Just a- again, K State coming off a loss, but they should still just dominate KU. Yeah, right? they they've figured it out offensively. Tyler Lockett looks to me to be like a, an elite receiver. Although watching watching that game live and then seeing the replays of those touchdowns, Oklahoma's secondary had no clue. Had some trouble early. Yeah. And Bob Stoops and Mike Stoops were like in these guys' faces, and then it oh. happened again, and then I, it happened again. I thought Mike Stoops' head was going to explode in the first half. Yeah, I, I really I, did. <laughs> He kept coming over, and he's, I was like, he's, he's not going to make it through the day. His toque was yeah. all bunched up on all, his head. You know, he was just pulling it off and everything. <laughs> but, you know, that being said, don't don't be surprised if Daniel Sams gets 40 snaps. So who knows? I right. mean, with, with how K-State's done it, you think, oh, they're going to do this now. No, nah, it'll probably be something different. Sams will run for 250 yards yeah. on 25 yeah, carries or something. A lot of big games besides Missouri and uh, Texas A&M. On Saturday, let's get some picks from Dennis Dodd. What about the Iron Bowl? You can listen to it right here on Sports Radio 810 WHB. Alabama and Auburn. Auburn will never have a bigger chance than they do Saturday. They will never face Alabama winning two out of the last three, or two in a row, three out of the last four, at home, 10 and one, everything on the line, unless they lose. And then next year, it's four out of five and three in a row. So, there's no excuse for Auburn not to win this game. I, I think they've got a heck of a chance. Everybody's penciling in Alabama for the SEC championship game. I went to Auburn last week to do a story. Gus Malzahn might be the best play caller in the country right now. Mm-hmm. Him and his uh, his offensive coordinator, who he's had since seventh grade, Rhett Lashley. How's that for a Southern name? Um, and I think we saw some of that in the uh, in the Georgia game. They'll have something ready for Alabama. What I question for Auburn is can they stand up to the pounding defensively and offensively in both lines? It's not sexy. It's very boring. But by the fourth quarter, you're sitting there, you're down by 10, you're going, what just happened? So I, I got I got to pick Alabama. All right. A couple of national championship contenders playing struggling rivals on the road. Uh, will Florida State or Ohio State, will either one of them get a challenge from Florida or Michigan? I, I, I don't think Florida State. Florida State will get a challenge for about a quarter. That what happened last week against Georgia Southern in uh, for Florida at the Swamp uh, put 
Will Muschamp's job in jeopardy? I mean, the AD said he was behind him a thousand percent. I suspect that's gone down now. Maybe he'll get fired too. Uh, on the on the Florida <laughs> on the Florida on the Florida State side, you got to wonder about you know Winston since this alleged uh, a sexual assault came out has been great. Yeah, it hasn't rattled him on the field. So Florida State big, and Michigan's just a mess. They're at home against Ohio State uh, again. I suspect they'll be there for about a quarter, and Ohio State's going to try to put up a big number, hoping against hope that they can get in those top two. Clemson, South Carolina. I, I think Cle, Clemson's still got a BCS bowl to play for. I think they're a better team than South Carolina, but Steve Spurrier is a better coach, so I'm going to go with South Carolina at home. And uh, and again, you guys both like K State big over KU. Yep. And Dennis likes Missouri big over A and M. I like Missouri to you, win. Yeah. yeah. Double yeah. digits. Double digits. Very taking, confident. Taking down the goalposts. Everything. Dennis died, and where will you be? I'll be at Michigan, Ohio State, because if Auburn wins, I'll be at the epicenter of college football. You need to go to Skeeps after the game. Scorekeepers. Right. Dance club up there in Ann Arbor. Go I, crazy. I, I'll Kids go. Kids all over. Yeah, I'll cut a rug. Big long line, though. So <laughs> careful. Not for the, us old timers. <laughs> That's uh, Dennis Dodd from CBSSports.com. Dennis, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Back after this on WHB and 38th Spot. You're listening to the Border Patrol. The Border Patrol. The Border Patrol. The Border Patrol. On Sports Radio 810 WHB. Oh, I'm sorry. That's kind of gross, right? I'll give you five bucks if you can finish it. Arthur's new roommate. Hope you like chocolate. Is Doug's soulmate. I just love the smell of cigars. Something about it just makes me want to bake. Would you like some pancakes, eggs, and hand cut bacon? Yes, yes, and hell yes. Next, King of Queens. Here you go. Oh, hey, you want me to wheel the TV in so you can watch while you eat? Watch today at 5 on 38th The Spot for comedy. What can you get for $14.99? Three gallons of gas. Or freedom from your overpriced DSL service. Introducing Time Warner Cable's new everyday low-price internet. All the speed you need at an affordable price. And if you act now, you get free installation of our everyday low-price internet. It's Time Warner Cable's all-new everyday low-price internet. Now with free installation. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC before this free installation offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. If you're turning 65 or are changing Medicare supplement plans, here's some breaking news. Transamerica Life Insurance Company is now offering Medicare supplement insurance for individuals in your state. Previously only available as group coverage, now you too can enjoy great service and coverage, just like thousands of customers have for many years through Transamerica, a trusted provider of Medicare supplement insurance. A Medicare supplement insurance plan from Transamerica helps pay for what Medicare doesn't cover. It could save you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in out-of-pocket costs. Transamerica offers plans that are competitively priced, and those rates will never increase due to age or health. You can choose the doctors, specialists, and hospitals that accept Medicare without referrals. And many plans have zero co-payments. Best of all, you'll enjoy guaranteed coverage for life. Understanding Medicare supplement insurance can be overwhelming. At Transamerica, we want you to feel knowledgeable about your choices and confident about your decisions. Our experienced agents will explain your options and provide trusted guidance. Even if you already have a plan in mind, take a moment to call us, and we'll give you an expert second opinion absolutely free. So if you're turning 65 or looking to change Medicare supplement coverage, don't wait. Call Transamerica and find out more today. Call to speak to an agent and get a free rate quote. We'll also send you a copy of our guide to Medicare Supplement Insurance absolutely free. Call us today. Call 1-888-433-9096 for your free copy of Transamerica's Guide to Medicare Supplement Insurance. That number again is 1-888-433-9096. And remember to ask for your free rate quote. Call 1-888-433-9096 today. Hyundai dealer can't fit all their amazing deals into one short day, so it's Black Friday every day. All this month, get zero to at least signing on any of 14 Hyundai models, financing as low as 0%. Incredible savings. And America's best warranty. Now, Lisa Sonata, GD Power's most dependable mid-size car, for $179 a month. Hurry, Black Friday every day goes dark for good December 2nd. 
When you hire a law firm for your injuries, hire a firm with a reputation for trying cases. You have only one day in court. Make it count. Peterson & Associates, protecting you. I can't take you anywhere. 38 the spot. We won the Springfield Lottery. Four friends split a winning ticket until one of them splits town. Carl's gone. I'm sure he's going to come back. I don't think so. His travel neck pillow's gone from its pedestal. The Simpsons. Watch tonight at 6.30 on 38 The Spot. BoundaryBigAndTall.com Premier Mazda is Kansas City's Premier Mazda dealer. Winter is coming, and it's time for that Premier Vehicle Winter Maintenance Inspection. Bring your vehicle to Premier Mazda Service Department today, a Premier Service Department unlike any other. Stop by today, just east of 135th and State Line on Highway 150, or visit them online at PremierMazdaKC.com. And now, back to the Border Patrol. Welcome back to the show. This is the Border Patrol on Sports Radio 810 WHB and also 38 The Spot. Stephen St. John and Mr. Todd Lebo. I've already gotten some flax from people uh, for saying that I would wear your Missouri sweatshirt, so I'm going to negotiate that. You're going to wear it. I don't know about that. Lance told me no. Gary Lezak, let me tell you a quick story about uh, Santa Lebo. Claus Lebo. gone wrong. A Lebo story? Well, no, no, well, <laughs> We're not maybe. About that. I, I want a Lebo story. This uh, is uh, outside of Boston. A man who uh, was playing Santa Claus at a uh, local mall has been uh, barred from the shopping center uh, after uh, he was charged with groping an elf. Real-life bad Santa. Uh, was it a Santa's helper? Uh, well, he was trying to, you know, trying to make it a helper. Herbert uh. Jones pleading not guilty to indecent assault and battery. A judge has ordered him to stay away from the Hanover Mall and barred him from playing Santa anywhere else pending the outcome of the case. Police say that uh, the 62-year-old Santa pinched <laughs> the elf's buttocks oh boy. and made some suggestive comments as the two were working at a Santa photo booth. Jones, who has a real they went bushy into the white photo booth beard, together though. Huh? What's that? Did they go in the photo booth together? I don't know about that. Right. He has a he's a real bushy white beard. Loves playing Santa Claus. He <laughs> d denied that uh, he was touching uh, the woman inappropriately. Just said he was in the Christmas spirit. Mm. But the woman who played the elf does not agree. So. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. You did, did you see the movie Bad Santa? I did. Yes. Now that was one heck of a movie. I, I wouldn't say a bad movie, but it was one bad Santa. It was a bad Santa. Yeah. It was, a, it was a tragic story. What do you think of Todd Lebo on TV? I think he's amazing. I mean, I like his hairdo. I really do. Really good. It's I like the, yours, too, by the way. We're all bald. It's the bald yeah. control. It's in, <laughs> bald is beautiful. It is. Wow. Hey, Gary. Boomer. Uh, I'm Sooner. I'm going down to Columbia this weekend for the game Saturday night. And then wow. tell them what you're wearing. I'm wearing Oklahoma clothes, actually. Yeah, no, you're yeah. not. I'll wear black clothes, no doubt about it. But what's the temp going to be like? It's warmer this weekend uh, than Saturday last. Saturday will right? be pretty good. You know, we're looking at a high upper 40s to near 50 degrees Saturday. So we're it's looking good. Uh, you know, Sunday, the Chiefs game, uh, Denver, I'm looking at a high close to 50 degrees on Sunday. It might be cloudy Sunday. Uh, it's it's probably too nice of weather for, for Peyton Manning, but who knows? We'll see what happens with that. Do what I'm concerned with, again, is it'd be nice of a week from Saturday. I mean, is that when uh, Sporting KC takes the field? That's right, 3 in the afternoon. I'm looking at a map right now. I hope it's wrong, but it has uh, about uh, 20 degrees and, and some snow falling that night. <laughs> mm. Well, so, uh, at least it's in the afternoon. Right. I, guess, but... I know. Come on. Come on, it doesn't matter, I guess, if Sporting KC wins the championship. That's all that matters. But No, the fans won't care. The players will put their gloves on. They'll be That's fine. Right. Yeah, I mean, how many fans went to the Sporting KC game and the Chiefs game? That was a cold weekend. That was a cold weekend. Yeah, do you know anybody who did both games? I'm sure there's I'm quite I'm sure there were plenty who did both. I, 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 I went to neither. I was indoors for both, but I was outside a lot of hunting Chiefs. last week. What are the chances Missouri wins the national championship? Yeah, oh, we, you're getting sick. ahead of yourself. Worry about this game Saturday. Don't do that, Gary Lezak. You're what trying to jinx chances? things. Uh, it, it was 1,000 to 1. Too many you things know, have to happen. You realize that they might be the story in college football. And we're like, it's like a, it's a, it's like a below the line story for us here. It's like, oh, oh let's see how they do in the next game. They're amazing. Right. They're an amazing. Texas A&M. year, and they should be undefeated. Johnny Football. You can't, you can't go back. 
I know you can't go you back. You can move forward and beat Texas A&M. You got to forget right. about what happened against South Carolina. I don't know. That was that was incredibly bad, but um, it's all right. That's the way it goes. That's why college football sort of stinks because of that one second, and they, they should be undefeated. But that's maybe we'll right. get an eight-team playoff eventually. Eight-team playoffs would be great. All right, uh, weather-wise for today, it's cold. Another cold surge is coming down. Tomorrow morning's low, back down to 13. Thanksgiving Day, a high of 43 degrees. And the Plaza Lighting Ceremony will be on 41 Action News. All right, guys, have a great day. If you have a question about travel, watch at 6.30 tonight at KSHB.com. We'll be streaming a show. You can ask me any question you want, within reason. About weather. <laughs> about weather. All right. Sounds about good. Santa and Elf. All right, have a great day, everyone. Right now, it's 25 degrees, and I'm Andy Rodgers, Gary Lezak. Here's Ryan Weeby. All right, Gary, with low rates back on the board, could you be saving more money every month? Give my team a call at 816-778-7000, or go to firstmortgagekc.com and fill out a full online application. Back after this to wrap things up on 38 The Spot, and keep on going on WHB. You're listening to the Border Patrol on Sports Radio 810 WHB. On the next How I Met Your Mother. I still can't believe we have to say goodbye to this place. It's out with the old for Marshall and Lily. These handbags? Gonzo. No way! These have sentimental meaning to me. Didn't you shoplift these in your 20s? Yes, and I get very nostalgic for that time. You get older, you have kids, you stop stealing. It's sad. On the next How I Met Your Mother. Watch tonight at 10 on 38 The Spot for comedy. Hi, I'm Neil, Neil's Finance Classic. News flash, we have a new warranty. 30 months, 30,000 miles on your car. And Neil's will finance you on all new inventory. Call me right now for pre-approval. Let's get her done. See for yourself why Kia is getting all the attention this season at the Kia Holiday Sales Event. Check out our best-selling 2014 Optima, named a top safety pick plus. The versatile Sorento crossover with a five-star crash safety rating. Or the totally transformed Soul, which is this year's highest-ranked compact multi-purpose vehicle and in initial quality by J.D. Power. So hurry in to the Kia Holiday Sales Event today. Right now, lease the Optima LX for $219 a month. In just seven weeks, you could begin your new career in nursing as a certified nursing assistant. Call National American University, 913-981-8700, and enroll today. The CNA Certified Nursing Assistant Program is a seven-week course. Think of it. In just seven weeks, you'll complete your training, receive your certificate, and begin your new career in nursing. Call National American University, 913-981-8700, and enroll today. I'm always on the lookout for a good deal. Like this. And this. And this. And these. And this. So when I found out about America's Best, I got really excited. You can get two pairs of glasses for $69.95 with a free eye exam. Designer frames and low prices? Now that's a good deal. Call 1-800-2-PAIR or visit americasbest.com to schedule an appointment today. Look who's delivering the laughs on 38th The Spot. I'm going to keep it loose and fun. <laughs> He's got the moves. <laughs> He's got the style. Look at this, honey. I swept myself a bra. And he's definitely got the charm. Let's get it on. The King of Queens delivers the laughs. Watch weekdays at 5 and 5.30 on 38th The Spot for comedy. Unrighteous Decade. Six far out friends. A million groovy laughs. Good TV. Watch that 70s show weeknights at 8 on 38th of Spot. Hi, I'm Neil, Neil's Finance Classic. News flash, we have a new warranty. 30 months, 30,000 miles on your car. And Neil's will finance you on all new inventory. Call me right now for pre-approval. Let's get her done. Right this minute, videos first. See this daredevil literally put his life on the line. Yeah, I would imagine that spike of adrenaline is part of the fun. Next, right this minute. Watch tonight at 7 on 38th The Spot. B. Thank you to
to Dennis Dodd from CBSSports.com for stopping by the studio. Thank you for watching on 38 The Spot. The show continues with myself and Todd Lebo right here on Sports Radio 810 WHB. been watching the Border Patrol on 38 The Spot.